Now let's talk about the measurement of mass. What is the weight of these marbles? The mass of them. What is the mass of the water? What is the mass of the book? The apparatus we use is a triple beam balance. The triple beam balance implies that there are triple beams in its structure. To measure the mass of an object, we place the object on top of the balance. The reading indicates the mass of them. The triple beam balance is divided into several portions. The first being the tray, where we place the object we measure. The second portion is a scale of these three beams. It connects with the pointer pointing to the zero. And the last portion is also very important. It is used for setting the zero point. Wind up this portion to set zero before every measurement. How can we measure the mass of the water? First of all, we place the mass on the left. The pointer should point to zero. If the pointer is not pointing at the zero mark, we should wind up this part and reset to zero. Okay. Place the object onto the tray. Move the greatest mass to this point. It's observed that the mass is heavier than the object's mass. For this point, it is still too heavy, and so for this point. So we move the mass backward to the mark 200. It is observed that the mass of the water is in between 200 to 300 grams. We then move the second heaviest mass to the mark 60. The pointer points downwards. At the mark of 50, the pointer still points downwards, and at the mark of 40, the pointer points upwards. It implies that the weight is in between 240 to 250 grams. Finally, we move the mass with the least weight, and we keep trying forwards and backwards. And the mark shown is zero. That means that the mass of the water is 249.0 grams. Now we've just measured the mass of the water in beaker and if we want to measure the water only what we do is remove the water. We now remeasure the mass of the beaker only this time. Place all the mass to the left and move the heaviest mass to the mark 100. 200, it's too heavy, so we move it backward to 100. That means the beaker is in between 100 to 200 grams. We move another mass to the mark 10. It's overweight, so we move it backwards and move the lightest mark to the mark 2.5. It's too much, we move it to the mark 1, still too much. Try again at the mark 0.05 still overweight so we move it a little bit backwards and it's nearly balanced so the mass of the beaker is 100.4 grams deduct this reading from the previous reading and the result will be the mass of the water the triple beam balance can measure mass up to 500 grams. What is the minimum mass to be measured? It's observed that there are 10 marks in between the reading of 5 and 6. Divide 1 gram by 10, which is 0.1 grams, and the minimum scale is equal to 0.1 gram. The scale uncertainty or reading error is 0.05 grams. That is plus or minus 0.05 grams. Since we need to set zero for the triple beam balance, two reading errors are involved in the measurement. The maximum possible error should be plus or minus 0.1 gram. Another significant error exists when we set zero and observe the position of the pointer 
under human eyes. This can be a human error. The following precautions should be taken when we use the triple beam balance for measurement. First, we should set zero before every measurement. Second, for tiny measurements such as the mass of each marble, five marbles will be used instead of only one. Since the marbles move around in the tray, we put them all in a beaker. Then measure the total mass of the beaker and the marbles. Deduct beaker's mass at the end and the result is the mass of five marbles. If we